All right, everybody. This is Eric with VBAHowTo.com. Also, uh, LobalCompServices.com. Take a look at it. Uh, this video is about with writing a record set to a file using VB, VBA. Um, and you could use the same concept to write write anything to a file, really, uh, using like PHP or using a ESP or whatever you whatever you desire. So uh, this this video is going to show you how to how to do that. So again, the sample sample code is going to be at vbahowto.com. So come over there and uh, pick the file up, pick the database up. Uh, just real quick. Uh, rather than rather than you having to observe me typing and mistyping, I went ahead and and put all this this code already ready for you. What happens when you click the button? Let's see if I can find the button here. Uh, yeah, right here. When you click this button, right text file, it says done, and it takes whatever's in the table TBL project. And it takes this data and writes it to a writes it to a CSV file. Um, now, a CSV file is the most com again uh, for those uninitiated. <laughs> CSV comma separated values. Anyway, you can really uh, separate your values with anything. And just uh, you may want to use asterisk, okay? That's or those little carrot heads separate the fields. Uh, just just as long as on the receiving end, you know uh, what your fields are separated by. But uh, most most programs do comma separated values. They uh, each field is separated by a value. Uh, let's see where the file ended up. If I go over here to the yeah project data dot csv. Uh, notice that when I delete it, I'm going ahead and deleting it now, and I'm going back here and running it again. I'm going to click, well, actually, let's go ahead, I'm going to press F5, and it's going to go, it's going to go through my thing. Well, actually, it won't until I go here. I get to go in the actual, oh, no, let's see here. Well, if all else fails, it's probably under the pressure of, of this video. But anyway, uh, I click the button, it says done, and voila, the project underscore CSV. I can open it up in a text file, you right click, no plus plus is good. Okay, I like, I like no plus plus, no bad plus plus. Okay, it's free. Uh, and here are my, my values separated by a comma. Now Excel likes comma separated values. So Excel is the, the program that uh, recognizes the CSV file. So when I open it by default, it's my default program and it opens up the, the file. And it separates them out nicely into columns. Okay, so real quick looking at the code here. Let's go ahead and tab over here. Uh, we're creating an object. I'm using the uh, scripting object, okay? The scripting library. Go ahead and use that. That's a great little library. It's really easily, re really easy to use, um, especially if you're doing some minor stuff. I know some people say, "Well, it has a high overhead." Okay, well, uh, it works real well. I mean, it has uh, common names that you can use. So I, I like to use the the file system object. Here I'm I'm doing create object scripting object. This is late binding. You could come up to tools and references and find it in the list here under Microsoft scripting runtime. Okay, uh, I didn't. I just use create object. Here I have object file. I'm going to dump that. That's going to be my text file when I actually create a text file. Oh no, I can't scroll down the screen. Oh, that's, that's probably why, because it is the. Uh, let's see if I can scroll down like this. I have to press enter. Enter a lot. So, I'm making a record set out of my table. Okay, making a record set of my table. I'm populating my record set then with the values that are in the table. 
okay rst.fields which field is it inside my table and I'm separating the values by a comma okay and then I'm going here I'm moving next uh, current privacy data path that puts it in the, the the directory that the database is currently in and then project dot I'm naming the file project data dot CSV um, and then I'm writing the file using the um, setting the the file object file dot C uh, this from the scripting library create text file from uh, out of the object that I made for the the file scripting object I'm creating a text file and creating a text file if you don't know what these arguments are uh, Google them and you'll find them out. Object file right line, okay, and then I'm closing it. This is my garbage collection right here, and uh, it's a real simple garbage collection. Uh, object file that close, and then I'm setting everything to nothing. And it's like a complaint if you don't, but it's just good practice. Like something like ASP.NET and all that .NET stuff is gonna gonna have all that. A garbage collection done for you, but uh, when I when I learn how to do it at a time, and at the end we go through a med message box done. <clears throat> Again, uh, thanks for watching. This is how to write a file, write to a file with VBA, and come out to the website. Come out to the website at uh, vbahowto.com. And you can go ahead and download download this and kind of look at the code and kind of model it and make tweak it according to what you need. Uh, my name's Eric, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.